Hey everybody, Tori here. So I just filmed this makeup tutorial. It is featuring the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette, which I absolutely love. The look is mostly matte and it's very like pink and romantic. You could totally wear this on Valentine's Day. I think it would be like super pretty for that. It's just a very like neutral pink lip. If you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Just hit that red button right down there. Give this video a like if you like this makeup look and if you like my new uh, set up. Anyways, I hope you like this look and let's just jump right into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I put on my tinted moisturizer is I'm gonna put on the Maybelline 8 Instant Age Rewind Concealer and this is the neutralizer. So I'm just patting this on in a triangle shape with sponge and then I'm gonna blend that in with my finger. I like to put another concealer on top of this after I do tinted moisturizer but use this one underneath. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Tinted Moisturizer and mine is in light. So I'm just dotting that all over my face and then blending that in with my fingers and just blending, blending, blending to make sure that there's no you know, harsh lines or odd lines. So blend that onto your neck. And then once that's all blended, I'm gonna be taking this spoolie brush and brushing on my eyebrows. This is just from BH Cosmetics. And I'm using an angled brush with the Body Shop Brow and Liner Kit in the color 02. And I'm mixing both of those colors just to fill in my brow's natural shape. I don't wanna do anything too crazy. I just like to make my brows a little bit fuller. That's what I like. And this angled brush is really great. It's like the perfect size. I really like the BH Cosmetics brushes. They're just so affordable. Hard to beat. So I'm just gonna brush those again with the spoolie just to kind of like feel like it makes it more soft. Um, and then I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And I don't like particularly, I'm not like super loyal to this brow gel. You can use any clear mascara as well. And I'm gonna take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and this is in Milk. I'm using this as my eye base instead of an eye primer. <laughs> it looks so crazy right now, but yeah, so this is just going to help to, you know, brighten those colors up that I'm going to be using. And today we're going to be using the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. And I love this palette. It's so, so pretty. I'm so excited. Okay, so first we're going to take the Goji color and just pop that in the crease and I'm using a body shop blending brush for this so just blend it out until it's nice and soft and we're just using this as like a transition base so now with this like pencil brush I'm taking Cabernet and putting that in the outer V and just blending that out you're not gonna get a very nice blend with a brush like this but just kind of pop it in and then it doesn't have to look perfect we'll fix it up later and this is by crown brush so then I'm just taking the same blending brush with no more color and just blending that out some more so now I'm actually taking more of the goji color and I'm going to add that into the crease really focusing on the outer portion of the eye just to blend all of that out because I want it to be really nice and soft and now I'm taking sorbet and I'm putting that just on my lid and then I'm taking a clean blending brush and just blending out the edge of this look. And I'm gonna add porcelain on the brow bone and also on my inner corner. So now I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil and this time it's in Cottage Cheese. And I'm using that as a highlight on the brow bone on top of porcelain and also in the inner corner because I just love the way this looks in the inner corner. It's so, so pretty and brightening. And now I'm using the Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Pull Liner, and this is in Sumatra. You guys know if you watch my other videos how much I love this liner. It is so easy to get a pencil wing with this. It's just so soft, but not too soft. Now I'm going to take my NYX Eye Pencil in Velvet and add that to my lower lash line as well. Put that on my upper waterline. And this is a really pretty brown gold color, and it's shimmery, but not too shimmery. And then I'm gonna use the Ciela Forever Your Curl Curl Memory Mascara on my lower lashes. This has a really nice wand. It's perfect for the lower lashes. I personally don't like it for my upper lashes, but it's just 
works really, really great for the lower lashes. Now I'm using one of my all time favorites. This is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara and I'm using that on my upper lashes. It's just so pretty and romantic and perfect for Valentine's Day. And then on top of where I concealed before, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Tat Tattoo Concealer in Light. And I just have really bad under eye circles and this concealer has amazing coverage and the color is also really great for highlighting that area if you're the same skin tone as me. And I'm just blending that out with my finger. And then I'm gonna be setting that with my Sephora Mattifying Compact Foundation in Warm Nude. And I'm also gonna be setting the rest of my face with this as well. I'm just using a Lancome blush brush for this. And then I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil again in Cottage Cheese just to re-highlight my inner corners and add that to my lower waterline. And this really brightens up the eyes, it's so pretty. And I'm taking the Body Shop Shimmer Waves in Bronze and I'm just gonna be bronzing my face with this. I love the Body Shop Shimmer Waves, they are amazing. And I'm just using a BH Cosmetics blush brush for this and I'm singing away. And for blush, I'm taking one of my all-time favorites. Uh, this is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Dainty. And it just gives such a nice natural blush color. It's so, so pretty. And I'm just using a MAC Angled Blush Brush for this. And now I'm gonna take a new favorite. This is the Lasting Smiles Organic Lip Balm in Peppermint Cream. And on top, I'm gonna be using the NYX Butter Lipstick in Pops, BLS 17. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be using the NYX Butter Glass in BLG 05 Creme Brulee. I love this combo. It's just so pretty and natural looking, which is perfect for Valentine's Day in my opinion. So that is the look. I hope you like it. Let me know if you recreate this. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. I hope you have a very happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!